If you're wondering whether you should choose the Ableton Live or main stage version of Sunday Keys 2021, then this video is for you. We're gonna talk about the similarities, the strengths, and differences between these two formats of our popular Worship Keys template. Let's check it out. Hey guys, David from Sunday Sounds here, where our focus is making it easy for you to achieve success in your Worship Keys rig, whether you're using Ableton Live or Main Stage 3. Today, we're gonna to be talking about our popular Sunday Keys Worship Keys template, which is available in both Ableton Live and Main Stage formats. Before we dig into the topic of this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're a Worship Keys player or maybe a worship leader at your church, because we release new videos every single week to help you take your worship keys rig to the next level. Okay, so today we're talking about the Sunday Keys template. And if you haven't heard already, the 2021 edition of Sunday Keys was recently released for both Main Stage and Ableton Live. We get questions sometimes about the differences between the two and people wondering which is the best fit for them. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the differences and the similarities between these two popular formats of our Sunday Keys template. So let's dive right in. Okay, so to start off with, let's define what the word template means in general. When we talk about Sunday Keys as a template, we mean it's a platform that's done for you containing ready-built tools, sounds, functionality to give you an all-in-one ready-to-play worship keys rig. And so the outcome you can expect from both formats of Sunday Keys is the same. A largely done for you, flexible and ready to use worship keys rig that you can run off of your computer. With that being said, the sounds in both of these templates are very, very similar. We've designed both templates to include the same core sound library. There's custom sampled pianos, strings, dulcimer, and more in both templates, amazing worship pads, lead sounds, synth bass, electric pianos. There's pretty much one-to-one -one parity between the two templates in terms of the sounds that you can get out of these templates. Both also include tons of ready-to-play layered worship patches, the awesome tonic pad player that gives you an ambient pad in the key of your choice, which can glue together your band, cover transitions, all of that stuff. Both templates are also color-coded and laid out in a simple visual way, so it's easy for even a first-time volunteer to know what they're looking at on screen because everything's laid out in an intelligent way, everything's color-coded. So in terms of outcome, both the Ableton Live and main stage formats of Sunday Keys will give you great results. So when we talk about the differences between Sunday Keys for Ableton Live and main stage, it's really more about the differences between Ableton Live and main stage themselves as the platforms that these templates are built on. So first off, let's talk about main stage a little bit. Some of the main strengths of Sunday Keys for main stage are due to the strengths of main stage itself. To start off with, let's talk about the visual workspace that's possible inside of MainStage. MainStage includes a customizable workspace area where you can program the on-screen display to do whatever you need it to do. And we've taken advantage of this to put a very, very intuitive visual on-screen for Sunday Keys in the MainStage format. Everything is clearly labeled on-screen, everything is color-coded. So because Main Stage is so visual, Sunday Keys for Main Stage is also very visual. Makes it a great fit for new volunteers when you wanna keep things really simple and make it super plain to understand. Secondly, because of Main Stage's workspace feature, you do have some more flexibility in terms of what that workspace looks like. So if you're comfortable digging in and customizing the visuals, you can change the layout of things on screen, you can even change the colors if you happen to have a preference. And when we talk about main stages included audio and MIDI effects, generally, unless you go for Ableton Live Suite, you're gonna have more built-in effects in the main stage version of Sunday Keys that you can adjust a little bit more deeply, simply because main stage comes with a larger factory library of both sounds, but then also instrument plugins, MIDI effects, and audio effects. So we're able to leverage those in the main stage version. So if you're somebody that likes to get into plugins, that wants a bunch of ready to play synthesizers that you can tweak yourself, main stage is a great fit for you. A couple other more functional sort of quality of life things. Main stage has a good patch management system where you can export any patch, place it anywhere you want on your hard drive. You could email it, you could put it in Dropbox or Google Drive and download it on your other computer and import it right into another concert. And it's gonna work Pretty much no questions asked. So inside of Sunday Keys, patch management is super intuitive. It's really easy to stay organized and you can keep 
all of the work that you do over time in a catalog that doesn't actually bog down your performance concert. Along the same lines, Mainstage is really good at handling different types of MIDI configuration because all of that can be connected visually to the workspace. So you can go to layout mode in Mainstage, make a lot of custom assignments to various MIDI hardware, and you can import and export specific layouts or settings for MIDI hardware. So if you take one computer between multiple venues, or maybe you like to set up your rig at home and then just plug into the keyboard at church, Mainstage's layout mode functionality makes that really simple. And then lastly, Mainstage is also a great choice if you're not the master clock source, but you want to use time-based effects because you can predetermine the tempo of any patch and actually sync any subdivision, any arpeggiation to the initial note press. So if you have a metronome maybe running from an iPad app or from an, another, another computer running Ableton Live, as long as you're playing the notes in time, then you can sync up all of those time-based effects really easily. So if you're not the primary clock source, you can still use time-based effects with a main stage based rig. So we take advantage of that inside of Sunday Keys as well. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about Ableton Live. To start off with, Ableton Live is all about the clean, minimal visual and the aesthetic that is unavoidable or inescapable inside of Ableton Live sort of looks like a spreadsheet. So if you're into that sort of rows and columns look, then Ableton Live is a great fit for you. And we've done a lot of color coding inside of Sunday Keys for Ableton Live to really clearly lay out where things belong. Another thing about Ableton Live's visual sort of flair is that you can hide pretty much anything. So you can minimize all of the instruments, all of the plugins, you can even make tracks super small if you want to. So if you want to be able to sort of tuck things away, maybe there's things that you or you, uh, maybe a volunteer on your team, you don't want them to have to worry about during a performance, you're going to be able to sort of tuck that out of the way inside of the GUI of Ableton Live. In the same way, Ableton Live is a very straightforward sort of performance tool. Everything has a very specific place and everything sort of has a this just works feel. The plugins and audio effects inside of Ableton Live, I would say have a very distinct sort of Ableton-y sound. And I mean that in a really good way. There's lots of high-end clarity. I think that Ableton Live as a DAW, the audio engine inside of the software, just processes audio in a really pleasing sort of musical way that I especially notice in the high-end frequencies. So it's very pristine, very, very clean sounding. I would say Mainstage and its sister DAW, Logic Pro, have a little bit more of a warm sound, and Ableton Live has a very nice, bright, present sound. So. Uh, you know, that's not a game-breaking reason to choose either or software, but Ableton Live sounds really, really good. Another reason that Sunday Keys for Ableton Live might be a great fit for you is if you do want to serve as the master clock source, meaning you're gonna provide the click, maybe the guide, maybe backing tracks to your team, you're gonna be running Ableton Live's metronome, then it's a great thing to be able to sync up all of your keys parts to that built-in metronome as it runs in Ableton Live. It's really easy to do that. It's really easy to change the tempo, even on the fly. And so that can be an awesome way to provide tempo to your team, all from your keys rig. And because a big part of what Ableton Live is designed to do is to help electronic musicians and DJs and live loopers perform live, for us as keys players, when we're programming Sunday Keys, we're able to capture a lot of that improvisational flexibility in the way that Sunday Keys is laid out in Ableton Live. So in a couple ways, you have the quick select area of Sunday Keys for Ableton Live, which lets you build sounds on the fly. So if you're a team that likes to improvise, you can be super dynamic and just choose sounds in the moment to sort of build these moments with your keys patches. And that's something that you can't really do quite as easily in Mainstage because Mainstage is a little bit more on the upfront planning side and Ableton Live gives you a little bit more in the moment flexibility. And then lastly, because Ableton Live is a little bit more of a robust program in general, you have power user functionality, like the ability to completely automate every element of your keys rig from simple patch changes to a filter cutoff opening over time, sidechain and time-based effects, running your keys patches right alongside fully automated tracks. And of course, in the worship world, we all know that you can use Ableton Live to send cues out to your presentation software, out to your lighting rig, out to your video switcher, even to the soundboard. So Ableton Live is an incredibly powerful program in terms of all of the types of automation and advanced control that you can do with Live as the brain. So now that we've talked a little bit about the strengths of both platforms, 
Let's talk about a few reasons why you may not want to choose a given version. If you know that you really want to automate a lot of the function of your keys rig and pull off really complex arrangement type things in the moment, then the main stage version of Sunday Keys is maybe not the best fit for you because main stage is much more about planning up front and then executing in the moment, but oftentimes because of human intervention, right? Changing patches at the right time, making sure that you adjust that knob when you need that filter to open up. Main stage is great for that sort of hands-on control, but in terms of programming out all that automation to happen automatically, it's not really as well suited for that. So sort of the second part of that, if you know that you need to improvise a lot, you can do this in main stage and just have a few go-to patches that are always available to you inside of your Sunday Keys template, and that's a great way to go. But if you need down to the individual instrument level of improvisation, if you want access to every piano sound, to every pad sound in your library all the time with the ability to call them up at a moment's notice, Sunday Keys for main stage, because of the way main stage manages patches, isn't quite as well suited for that as Sunday Keys for Ableton Live. And then lastly, and maybe for some of you, the biggest reason that you might not want to use Sunday Keys for main stage, if you do not want to have to have a Mac computer, main stage only runs on the Mac platform. So if you're dedicated to your Windows system, then Sunday Keys for main stage is just not going to make sense for you. First off, if you value a super clear, non-threatening visual, some folks on your team might find Ableton Live's spreadsheet aesthetic a little bit more intimidating and a little less intuitive than folks would say the main stage format of Sunday Keys is. Because of main stage's customizable workspace, we're able to exactly control the visual inside of Sunday Keys for main stage. In Ableton Live, things are color coded, things are laid out in a great intuitive way on screen, but there's more to look at. So if you've got volunteers that are brand new to using Keys software and you wanna make sure that you avoid overwhelm, for some folks that we've heard from, the main stage version is a little bit of a better fit. Secondly, you might not wanna choose the Ableton Live format of Sunday Keys if you really don't enjoy menu diving. Earlier, I talked about how you can tuck things away inside of Ableton Live. And because of the complexity of the programming we've put into Sunday Keys to get you these ready to play sounds, there are a lot of plugins tucked away, sort of hidden out of sight. If you're somebody that loves to open things up and figure out how they work, Ableton Live is gonna be a great fit for you, but if you get a little bit intimidated or overwhelmed finding your way around navigating different plugins and instrument racks and all of that stuff, then Ableton Live might be a little bit more intimidating for you and might end up taking more of your time than the main stage format, which has a basic vertical channel strip layout. And then lastly, if you know that you don't want advanced automation and cue sending functionality, then Ableton Live might just be overkill for you. If you know you don't want to run tracks, if you just want a keys rig, you're a Mac user, you want things super simple, oftentimes folks find Sunday keys for main stage to be the best fit for them. Okay guys, so next, if you want a little bit more information about both of these formats of Sunday keys, there's a link in the description to a full walkthrough video of Sunday Keys 2021 for main stage and for Ableton Live. You're gonna get a better overview of the specific features and sounds and functionality of both of these templates. So I'll put a link in the description to those two walkthrough videos. Remember, if you're a Worship Keys player, hope that you'll subscribe, leave a thumbs up and let us know what you thought of this video in the comments. If you have any questions about Sunday Keys, we'd be happy to help in the comments as well. Lastly, before I let you go, we have a bunch of free worship patches available in both Ableton Live and main stage formats on our website. All you have to do is click the link and sign up with your email address and we'll send those right your way. Thanks for checking out this video. Have a great day.